हेलो लर्नर्स वे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन थर्ड एंड सेवनटीन फर्स्ट ऑफ एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट वन सो लेट्स सी हाउ विल सॉल्व द सम्स सी इन आर क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन दैट एक्स माइनस टू वाई माइनस फाइव इन टू एक्स माइनस टू वाई प्लस थ्री वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट इट्स वैल्यू सी फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स विथ साइन दे आर सेम एंड लास्ट टू टर्म्स इवन साइंस आर ऑल्सो डिफरेंट सो विल कंसिडर फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स एज पी let x minus 2y is equals to p so therefore what will our equation so our equation will become p minus 5 into p plus 3 because we have replaced x minus 2y by p okay now first term are same second terms are different and signs are different so we will use which formula by using identity x minus a into x plus b it is equals to what it is equals to x square minus a minus b into x minus ab so in place of x we will put p in place of a we will put 5 or in pla place of 3 b we will put 3 therefore p minus 5 into p plus 3 it is p square minus 5 minus 3 into p minus 5 into 3 so this is equals to p square minus 5 minus 3 means 2 so it is 2p minus 15 now we will put value of p here in this equation putting value of p in above equation So what is the scenario? Let's see. P square minus two p minus fifteen. What was the value of p? X minus two y. So this is x minus two y square minus two into x minus two y minus fifteen. So here again we will use a formula that is a minus b whole square. We have to show that that we are going to use it because there is step marking for these things. A square plus b square minus two ab. So here is x square plus two y whole square minus two into x into two y minus this number will open the brackets. So minus two into x is minus two x minus two into minus two is four plus four and y. Okay, and this is minus fifteen. Now, x square plus four y square minus four x y minus two x plus four y minus fifteen. This is our answer. So first of all, you decide which formula we have to use, and then start your solution. Now, see question number seventeen. What is given? and which formula we will use it is given that 2p plus 3q into 4p square minus 6p q plus 9q square first of all very smartly we have to understand that these two terms are maybe a plus b and 2p 4p square somehow correlated with this one it means this is 2p square so we will convert it and 3q here is 9q means 3q square So this is formula of that one a cube plus b cube, a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. So we will try to set accordingly. Here is two p. Your quotient gives you the hint. Here we will write. This is curly bracket or middle bracket. So two p square minus instead of writing two p q, what we will write two p into Three q. Can you see two p into three q? Here is two p square, and last one is also three q square because nine is square of three and four is square of three. That's why we have written two into three six. Can you see that two into three was six and p and q. So cleverly we have to understand what we have to do and what is the twist in the question. Therefore, by using formula. Which formula? Just now I have told you. 
what a plus b within bracket a square minus a b plus b square if we will see that numbers are arranged in this way that will be equals to a cube plus b cube see our number in that way only first term plus second term then first term square then multiplication of first and second term then second term square so as it is our equation is there according to entity so we will write therefore 2p plus 3q into 2p square minus 2p into 3q plus 3q square is equals to what 2p cube plus 3q cube so here is 2 2 4 4 2 8 8p cube and 3 3 9 9 3 27 q q this is your answer it means when you will multiply either if we were the student of junior classes like 6 7 my student will multiply 2p with whole numbers then he will multiply 3q with whole number then addition subtraction and slowly he will reach to this answer even in this class also i have explained you how this formula came i have derived all the things in my first two videos so please go through that also so to save the timing we can directly put this value and this is our answer